The countdown really has begun in earnest. In this July, athletes from some 70 nations around the globe will descend here in Glasgow for the 2014 Commonwealth Games. We've been looking forward to these games for quite some time now, and amongst the many works that have been taking place in the city has been the complete transformation of the National Stadium. This of course is normally the home of the Scottish National Team and Queen's Park FC, but it's been completely transformed for the track and field events at a cost of £14 million. The pitch has also been raised 1.9 metres and the attendance has been cut to accommodate the new track, and we were here to find out just how they did it at the grand opening. Well, the stage has been set uh, for world-class uh, athletics. Uh, this is a fairly uh, pioneering and innovative solution that's been on the plans for some time at Glasgow 2014 and we're just absolutely delighted to see it come to play. We've essentially raised the pitch by 1.9 metres from the existing football ground um, and have are now in the position to put a fully-fledged uh, uh, athletics field of play, world-class athletics field of play um, uh, in, into Hampden. And we've taken out about eight uh, rows of seats, uh, which has reduced the capacity of the, uh, of the seating from about 50, uh, 52,000 uh, to um, about 44,000. Um, but all in all, this is uh, going to be a fantastically inspiring, exciting, and, and uh, I would say intimate uh, uh, competition venue for the 20th Commonwealth Games. Just how difficult a task was it? I mean, is this safe for a start? Could we jump up and down on it? <laughs> it, it you know, it, 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 it's one of those innovative and, uh, and pioneering solutions that has been tested on a number of, it's actually tested uh, for the first time in the, the east in the Glasgow. Um, we tested and ma made sure it met all the conditions um, of an international standard uh, uh, track and field. And so from, from that standpoint, um, we are, we're, we're absolutely uh, confident that uh, this solution is just, just what the, uh, just w works perfect for Glasgow. And we wanted these games to be um, about including people, getting people excited, um, and, and getting people to, to, to be the legacy of these games um, and, and make the legacy of these games. And so many people have just, uh, you know, with overwhelming support, whether it was uh, the, our response to our volunteer program, um, the ticketing program, uh, the, uh, and, and everything in between, people have just been right behind these games and we don't take that for granted for one second. You mentioned the L word and legacy really seems to be what people talk about when they talk about major sporting events now. Do you feel this is going to have a lasting impact in the city, both in terms of the infrastructure that's left behind and the impact it will have on, on people's lives as well? Well, I think, you know, the ambitions behind Glasgow 2014 were far greater than even the games themselves in many respects. And so from that standpoint, um, I think, you know, from the infrastructure and the venue projects that are already a world class, but community relevant at the same time, to the way the public, private and third sector have worked smarter together around this project, to the reputation and recognition that Glasgow has as a great hub of sport, business, entertainment, great place to live. You know, I think it's, it's just strength on strength from, from, from 2014 onward. What, what do you make of what they've done to the National Stadium? What an extraordinary job. I have to say I'm tempted to do two things. One is to run onto the grass and pretend I've been chosen for the team. Or the other is to run around the track, you know, pretend I'm an athlete. So it's extraordinary the transformation that's taking place in a relatively short period of time as well. And then by the end of, of this calendar year, it'll be handed back as a football stadium. This is remarkable what is, what is underway here. And actually sporting organisers across the world are looking at what we have done here because it is so efficient, it's so cost efficient effective and it's been done so well. Two of our ambassadors for the Games, Ailey and Jessica, are both here as well. What's the, the feedback that you've been getting from the athletes about these Games? Well, Ailey in particular, you know, she's a, a key Scottish athlete for us this year and I, I was lucky enough to be in Delhi to watch her win a, a medal for Team Scotland in Delhi, so she, as you can imagine, is really excited about the prospect of, uh, of trying to go one better this time in, in the front of a home crowd. Yeah, of the 17 sports in the Games, you know, we're really confident. We've set ourselves quite a challenging medal target for, for this year, which is to have more than 33, the best we've ever done. And it's looking like across the 17 sports, our guys are well on target to do that. So we are, we're really excited about what we think will be some, some amazing Scottish performances this summer.